For the last few weeks, my pick line arm has been hurting me. It has been very painful and quite itchy. When I took the pick line dressing off, the area where the pick line attaches to my arm was slightly red. This has happened before. My arm starts reacting to the pick line and adhesive. I develop contact dermatitis. 10 days ago, the irritation had increased and it was more painful and more itchy. Yesterday, when the dressing was changed, the area was significantly red and had a lot of discharge. I talked this over with my nurse. We were both alarmed how fast the irritation had grown. We discussed calling my doctor and getting in to see him. He then could order me another pick line. To get an appointment with the pick line nurse to get the line replaced takes about two weeks. This would probably be too long to wait. There is a possibility the irritation may be an infection. If it is an infection, it could easily spread to my pick line insertion site and cause a bloodstream infection, which in turn can cause sepsis. My nurse thought I should wait until today and go first thing in the morning to the emergency department. That way, the pick line nurse can be contacted and I can get on a schedule for the day. So I'm getting my medical equipment packed up and ready to go to the emergency department. Let's go. Hello, welcome to the emergency department. It has been quite a whirlwind. When I arrived, I had a check in. Then the guy said I needed to go online to complete the registration process. I do not use a cell phone, but I do have an iPad. I tried logging into the hospital internet system and it did not work. It would not connect up. I went back to registration and, and told the man this. He graciously gave me his logins. So I was able to get online, finish the registration process. I literally submitted it and then they came out and they said, ah, oh, we have a room for you. And I thought, this is really odd because I have not been triaged. But I didn't say anything, so I came all the way back to the emergency department, got here in the room, and then everybody is yelling at the man going, she hasn't been triaged. Then I was really concerned they were going to make me go all the way back out to the front, which is a very long distance, and get triaged. But thankfully, they just kept me back here. They did my vitals back here. And so as soon as I, I got here, they were like, quick, let's get her vitals. And then please change into this beautiful mm -hmm. hospital gown. Well, I had my IV TPN running. And because that was running, it was running over my clothes. And I needed to get my clothes off. So I had to disconnect my TPN. Thankfully, I had supplies along with me to do that. I basically get the line disconnected. And then the nurse comes in and starts talking to me. And then the doctor comes in and he starts talking to me and I still haven't got my gown on. And the doctor looks at a picture that I took of my arm. And then he just inquired why I was here. And I said, I really need my pick line changed. So he's gonna go and call interventional radiology and hopefully they can come and come quickly and switch my pick line from my right arm to my left arm. And hopefully the the uh, the sore that is there will will heal and it won't cause any sort of infection. But as soon as they all left, then I finally was able to change into my green gown. <sighs> Once I got that changed, then I was able to connect my TPN and sit down and just enjoy the sights and sounds of the emergency department. So that's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello, since I last updated, they came to draw blood. The blood drawing experience was quite exciting. There were two women who came. The one was a laboratory technician and the other one was a student. She was very excited. She was almost done with her course. She only has a few more days left and then she graduates. And during these last few days, she has to get skills at drawing blood. So I was one of her test subjects. The first time she put a needle in, it worked fine. She got the blood cultures. But in the middle of the second blood culture, it abruptly stopped working and it blew up and it was a hematoma. So they had to withdraw the needle. She tried a second vein and unfortunately she went through the vein instead of being nice and parallel. She just went a little bit too far in and went through the vein. So they couldn't use that. But then there was blood dripping. And so the lab technician is trying to take the 
the vial and trying to squeeze my arm to get blood into the vial and I'm going we have seven vials of blood like she's trying to milk my arm and I'm going no 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 just stick me again so the third time the laboratory technician put the needle in and she got blood and she got all seven vials of blood so that was good and I got done with that but I got stuck three times hmm, bummer <laughs> and then I had to get a urine sample which is always fun but thankfully I really had to go to the bathroom so that was a blessing so we got the urine sample that was good I've been waiting for the pick line nurse to come to insert the pick line and it is just after lunch it's a little bit after one o'clock and they just came in with paperwork and they said he's on his way and I was so excited and the paperwork I felt like was a marriage contract because it was like I do and then you had to initial your name so you had to say like I do allow for blood products I do allow for filming I do allow for photos blah 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 and I was like boy this is a big commitment I gotta think about this <laughs> Anyway, so I signed all the paperwork and that's good to go. And the, the man, the pick line nurse is coming. So I'm going to get a new pick line. Oh, so exciting. So that's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello, the pick line nurse just left. He gave me a new pick line. Hooray, I'm so excited. He looked at my other arm and took out the other pick line and he looked at the infection and he thought it was a good, good idea that I had that pick line removed because the infection looked like it was moving right towards the pick line insertion site and if it hit the pick line insertion site and went inside it could cause sepsis and lots of sickness and illness so he said that was a good call to, to come in and get that, that line removed and a new line placed on the other arm. My old pick line had three lumens. I only need two lumens and it was supposed to have been a two lumen pick line. Unfortunately, when I had it placed, he only had three lumens. So I've been struggling with the three lumen pick line. The one lumen is big and it flushes. The other two lumens are small and I've had problems ever since it was placed that they always would jam and went flush. And I don't know, probably about the last three months, the one lumen I can't get flushed for the life of me. The second lumen we could barely get it flushed after doing a lot of cath flow and it runs really really slowly and the third line runs off and on but he took the line out and he found out there was a big big clot at the end of the line and then also inside the line so it really was a good idea to get that line out uh, but now the new line's in and I'm so happy and so thankful it's in and everything went smoothly and there was relatively little pain and so I'm happy all I have to do is wait for the nurse to get the discharge papers and I get to go. Oh, home, home, home. I'm so, so excited. So thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.